After recovering the body of late engineer Isaac Clark, the science team thought it best to study the corpse for whatever reason. The study will be known as Shortly after injecting pineapple juice into his vein, Isaac began to move strangely. When another corpse was given to Isaac, he began to get excited. Really excited. All tests went smoothly until the day we injected him with the power of love. It seems he loved himself a little too much. The problem was swiftly dealt with, or so we thought. Nobody could have guessed how quickly he reproduced. With so many Isaacs running around, we saw this as an opportunity to test them in groups. In the first trial, we trapped 17 clones inside a tube. They quickly escaped and formed a single file line in the process. This is when they first escaped out into the public. In another trial where the tube was secured, we pitted 15 Isaacs against one zombie. However, the Isaacs demonstrated an ability we had not seen before. Needless to say, the zombie won. It seemed that all Isaacs had hidden grenades they would pull out of their ass when frightened. They demonstrated no hesitation in sacrificing their own to destroy their enemies even if the enemy was already dead. In one trial, we introduced a weapon to one of the Isaacs in their environment. They quickly turned on the one who was not like the others. This test revealed their stubbornness to accept new ideas. When put up against an armed soldier, the Isaacs would swarm upon their enemy make short work and with their growing numbers, many of us fear for our future. In an attempt to rid the world of these clones, we decided it best to destroy the body of the original Isaac Clark. Decapitation seemed like the most appropriate way to cut off the source. However, we found that Isaac only danced as if his body was glad to be rid of the head. This did not end the epidemic. It only got worse. We tried introducing new creatures into the environment in hopes they would destroy the clones. It wasn't our best plan. It wasn't long before we began receiving reports of the Isaac clones finding their way into the public. Some reports mentioned that they were being found in other games completely. Most of the time, the clones were subtle about their presence. Sometimes, it was obvious. It didn't take long for people to accept these clones as part of their everyday lives. Some even got jobs. Some people couldn't take the overwhelming amount of Isaacs anymore, so they took matters into their own hands. This only fueled their aggression. Games began to form, and mercy was a word unknown to the clones. Strange creatures began to appear within the larger games of Isaacs. These creatures were formidable in the killing streak of Killapocalypse. The Isaacs began erecting statues of the beasts, worshipping them as saviors. It quickly became dangerous to walk the streets of the city. You were lucky to survive an attack from the games.
Here we have footage from a local nightclub that was attacked by a group of Isaacs. Spawn points became graveyards as they wait to spawn kill anybody who died. This was the last straw. Not being able to spawn in peace caused everybody's rage to reach maximum. Guerrilla warfare was found to be most successful in attacking the Isaacs. Any form of attack that relied on frontal assault usually ended in death. Once people began to figure out the clone patterns, there were little to no failures in attacks. After nine months of fighting back, the Isaac clone numbers began to grow weak. Hidden bunkers and secret bases were discovered daily there were never any survivors. Not even the creatures stood a chance in these attacks. Finally, the government decided to step in and launch nuclear strikes against the largest Isaac gangs. Nobody left in the city survived. Nobody. And then, only one Isaac remained. He was different from the others. He didn't want to be a part of gangs. He didn't want violence. He only wanted peace. So he moved thousands of miles away on a deserted island. However, we couldn't allow the epidemic to repeat itself. It only takes one to create an army. And with one final cruel joke on the Isaacs part, the epidemic was over.